Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to rig a wire in 3ds Max. Now you can see I have already created a small setup, uh, and I also rig this one, the wire, a small one. You can control uh, through this uh, gizmo or maybe. Uh, helper point objects that I have actually created to you know control them uh, this particular wire and you can see you can rotate or you can you know manually change a position everything uh, you have the control over over this wire and now you can uh, you probably already know that uh, if I if I need to wear if I need to rig this kind of a wire I I have to create some of the joint structure or some of uh, some other other ways maybe but joint structure is the most common way to uh, to control to create the control or the rig any any sort of an object but here I'm not going to use a joint structure because I want uh, something which which can be a little uh, non-destructive way of rigging now see this is my if you select a uh, control system over here and uh, you see it's a point helper object point helper objects can be found in the standard uh, menu uh, sorry in the create menu under the helpers and I have taken a a, a line object actually the spline now if you if you go to the uh, shapes under the shapes you can have this line so you can you know uh, create a line pretty comfortably and this is how I have actually created this one I mean uh, it's not like that you cannot use any other way but this is another way and I found this is a very cool way to you know create a uh, a wire and also if you want to animate the same wire you can you can use this structure uh, entire structure uh, pretty easily rather than using the joints or bones or, or you know skinning method and all so let's see what I have done so first of all if you examine this one if you select the line and go to the modified panel you can see a bunch of modifiers has been used and two are absolutely common that is called spline select and another one is the linked x form now these are the two main thing that we are going to use and you know what uh, even after using this uh, all of these uh, modifiers i can get back to my line and i can in fact increase or decrease my thickness of the wire that i am actually working with and i can increase my uh, smoothness of the wire by using by you know increasing the sides and all so this is a kind of a non-destructive way to you know, to you know uh, uh, animate or create a, a wire and also a non-destructively animate it so let's see how how we can do that now from the top view as as my convenience I'm just creating one line I'm not taking too much of points because that will, uh, you know, repeat the entire process and all. So this is the this is a new wire that I have created. And if you go to the uh, modifier modify panel now, if I if, if you don't want that uh, line to be uh, rendered in viewport, you can just turn it off from here. And <clears throat> now, what are wh what kind of a what kind of a control this is and what is exactly these controllers are actually controlling now if you see my uh, line object and go to the spline and also uh, just turn off the uh, enable in viewport and if you turn on sub object level and go to vertex you can see each and every vertex is actually being controlled in uh, through this helper object now that's the that's the key factor that I'm going to use so uh, just turn this on uh, okay fine now come to this uh, the new one so I have a line and I have three different points one two and three so now I have to create a controller object to control them now for controlling object I mean it's not necessary that every time you have to use a point you can use a dummy object also it's up to you so I'm just created dummy for this end just I have to find out this one okay fine 
So this is way over here. Go to dummy. Use it over here. Shit. Don't instance. That's it. So I have three different dummy objects to controlling my three different points. Now let's go to vertex and select this one, the first one. Now I cannot link directly the, the vertex with this particular dummy. Now if you go to this way, let's see. Now I have linked it, but now the problem is. The entire object has been linked so it's it's not possible it's not possible for me to you know, uh, connect it a, a vertex with with a uh, with a dummy object or any any helper object or any controller object so that's where our uh, linked X form actually comes to play so what I have to do is you have to select this vertex go to the linked X form And here you can see the control object is none. Pick control object. Just click on it. Done. Now you see the controller is actually not controlling the entire object. But instead of that, we are actually controlling a one single vertex. Now I can get back to this and I can turn on the you know, viewport geometry on. And... Sorry, I have to. Okay. Now, see what is happening. Actually, the selection has gone. Now, link text form is actually up on was on the vertex. Now, I have actually deselect that vertex. That's why the link text form has been broken. Now, this is a very important one, and this is this is the most important place where you need to understand the process. The process is I am selecting the vertex and assigning that particular this vertex with the helper object. So the selection has to be there. Now that's where that's where another uh, modifier comes to play. Now uh, before that, I would like to I would like to add one more point about about this one that. Even if it is, even if it is still selected, let's suppose now I have already still selected this uh, object. Now, if I want to uh, make the connection between these two, now see what happened. Uh, go to the top view, select this. Now, see what happened. Immediately, the selection has been changed into this particular vertex. Now this vertex is not been selected and this linked X form is actually connected with the dummy one. Now what is happening? See that vertex is getting connected with this dummy. So this is completely messed up. So we don't want that to be honestly speaking. We want three different objects, three different helper objects to be controlling three different uh, vertex of the line. So this is not the way we are actually planned out. Okay, so just delete. Great. Now I want two different things. One is the vertex to be selected, and also a multiple selection option. So what I, what can I do is I have to use another modifier which can bypass that. So that modifier is actually the spline select. Now this is a spline object. This is the plus point of using the spline object. So what can I do is right now okay now in the spline select option you can see the same options the lines also have this is where the spline select uh, modifier comes to play so go to the vertex option select this and now you can use the link text form and select the controller that you wanted to be the controller <laughs> great <laughs> sorry so now again next again you have to use the spline selection and select vertex select the vertex then again on top of that link text form pick object your controller object again spline select select the last one 
go to the link x form control the object that's it so now you if you select the individual controllers you can see the controls are actually creating the uh, actually controlling the vertex of the line and that's how you can easily animate the entire uh, uh, segment of the of the object let's say Great. So you can see my animation is perfectly working. So you can you can actually manually animate. This is a very cool thing for the animators where where you you don't want to use any kind of a you know dynamic curve or something like that, so that you don't want the animation to be exactly like the natural. You maybe you want to add some exaggeration in the on the in the wire. Uh, you remember the the animation that has been made by John Lasseter in the uh, in, in the Luxor Junior Lamp he has actually manually animated the entire uh, you know uh, the the wire so that's where uh, the animators always like to have the privilege to have their full control on their own hand rather than using some dynamic curve and all in that kind of a scenario you can use this use this uh, uh, this kind of a setup where where you can manually controlling the entire stuff so hope you enjoy the uh, session uh, please subscribe to our youtube channel and also follow us on facebook and twitter thank you very much